up everyone and today I am going to try to attempt to get a car. It's going to be a little bit interesting of a journey but uh, we just got off the train and we're on our way to another train station right now. So uh, we have to go closer into Tokyo because we're about an hour 30 minutes away from Tokyo. I don't really know what the train place is called but uh, not the train place but the, the place where we're going to be getting the car. But we're in Komogo Eshi right now, or at least that's the station that we just got off of. So I'll give you a little bit of a view. And then what we're going to be trying to do is hopefully get the car. And then after we get the car, we're going to go ahead and try to go to Ikea. So I can get some furniture for my room. Because uh, furniture would be pretty good right now. So that all being said, I did have a rather interesting conversation with a elderly lady at the station at our town. Uh, we talked about the weather and I asked her if it was going to uh, stay cold for a while and she told me, yeah, it's not really going to change for a really long time, so that's a bit unfortunate. But we did end up getting a jacket for Sandy. Cold seems to be okay, but yeah, pretty fun day, pretty exciting. Hopefully everything goes well, and I will check in with you guys a little bit later when we're either closer to the car place or just got the car. Alrighty guys, so I'm done with the train rides for right now. Um, I just got out of that station over there. It's called Shin Tokurozawa Station. So the reason why um, right before this, it was really fast, was because we had like a little walk from one station to the next station. And then we came out of that station. Lots of stations. But um, right now I'm waiting outside of a 7-Eleven right there. And this is a bus stop. And then it looks like all the way down this road is like kind of like a shulking guy kind of thing. Like a giant shopping area, something like that. But basically what I'm trying to do right now is wait for our guy to pick me up and my brother up. And we're going to go with him to go get the car. So I don't necessarily think that car um, exchanges, buying a car is, is normally like this. But I think because my brother called them yesterday and there was like a... I don't know if it was like a language barrier or what, but kind of like this kind of convoluted thing happened. So I'm just going to make the most of it. At least we don't have to walk all the way over there. But some of the reasons why we wanted a car is because we're kind of far out right now. It was like a four mile walk for me yesterday, and that was just to get a plunger and some household stuff. So yeah, I think the car is a good idea. And we also have the dogs. So we'll be able to get to and from places a little bit better. And also, I don't really want to be depending on taking the, the train so much just because of we only have the one station and we have to take a couple connectors to get onto any like major train. So each, each little stop is about four or five dollars and to do like Higatsu Machiyama or Higashi Machiyama is the closest larger town to us so it's gonna take about $30 just to get to that town so it's kind of a lot of money but um the guy should be here at any time so I'll go ahead and check in with you guys a little bit later Okay guys, so as you can see, we got the car um, and I fit in it. I'm about six feet, so it's kind of like egg shaped, but it, it's pretty cool. As, as long as it gets us from point A to point B, that's all that really matters. So basically the whole process was the guy picked us up. He was very friendly and it turns out he's actually practicing English right now. He just started learning this year. 200 meters, turn right. That's our GPS for Ikea right there. So um, he's learning English, I was learning Japanese, and we're like having kind of like a Spanglish thing going on between everyone in the car. 
and um, it was fun. It was pretty fun. And the Seven Eleven was actually pretty close to the car dealership. Uh, so we got there. He showed us the car. He asked us if it was okay, and it was. And then we went upstairs. I signed one paper and exchanged monies, and we got the car. It was like the fastest and easiest process ever. So I don't know why car dealerships in the U.S. can't be this simple, but to each their own. So as where it stands right now, um, we're going to head to Ikea. I'm going to try to order everything for the bedroom, and then we're going to figure something out and head home probably. But I will check in with you guys a little bit after. Alright, so we're back home now from Ikea and it was about an hour 30 minute drive and this was basically just a full day experience. So just so we're on the same page because a lot of stuff was going on, um, we went from home to the car dealership. The car dealership basically uh, we got a used car and there are certain, um, not insurances, but policies that you have to undergo for certain call cars when you buy them here but our car didn't qualify for that and the policy i'm talking about is that the police have to come to your residence to check to see if your parking spot is big enough for the car itself but our car is so small that it doesn't qualify for that because it can pretty much fit anywhere so just because of that we could skip that and all i did was sign the papers and hand them some money and that was about it and uh that noise is cool. He's, he's still licking his bowl behind me. His dinner time is about an hour 30 ago. So he came home a little bit later than usual. So he's a tad bit wondering how come his food came so late today. But other than that, um, Ikea, I was able to get the two dressers that I wanted and the desk and a lounge chair. The desk chair they were out of and the bed frame that I wanted to get ended up being a discontinued set so when they sold out they sold out and they basically sold out before I got there which is a little bit unfortunate but later on I'm gonna try to get a different bed frame but for now I think the drawers are the most important thing because I don't want my clothes just scattered all over the place especially with um, like the dog hair on the floor and everything so uh, I was able to bring home some small things from Ikea those things being said um, I got this, this little three set of Tupperwares because we actually don't have any Tupperwares in the house right now. So we're kind of just like putting our pot with the food and the lid just straight into the fridge and just reheating it for the next meal. Um, we also got these little ceramic half plate, half bowl kind of things. Um, it's a four set, they're black or dark, dark gray, one or the other. Um, we got a matching set of the plates, another four pack. I think everything comes in four, and if you want more than four, you have to obviously either end up with eight or some multiple of four. But since there's only two of us here, we have two each pretty much before we actually have to wash dishes if we're lazy. We normally wash dishes after every meal though. So it does allow us to have some for guests. And I bought these. Um, they're little coasters that the cup like sits in so it's like a cup for the cup and then your cup goes into it and uh it's cork so i got two just one for each of us just because i i'm kind of used to having coasters for my drinks and just putting like a drink on the table or something without a coaster it kind of just rubs me the wrong way yeah it's just it's just one of those things and then i got oh i guess i got four of the coasters so hey two extra but I guess it works out because this is a four pack of um, glasses and just like your run of the mill average glass. So pretty stoked about that. It was hard finding cups. We've only been here looking at a calendar right now. What is this? Four days, five days. We've only been here five days and we went to a Don Quixote, which is like a superstore almost. 
and they were under construction or refurbishing their whole place so they didn't really have that much stock we were able to get some necessities but they didn't have cups they had thermoses but they didn't have cups so i ended up finding two of these metal cups somewhere and um oh right here two of these and these are actually for mixed drinks i found them in the the drink section so they're like aluminum it's really cold here so anytime you grab this it's like freezing your hand pretty much depending on what you're drinking and burning your hand if you put something hot inside so i'm super stoked we got glasses but anyway that's going to do it for today there's just a lot going on and we're still getting used to the move in and of itself right now so all this jumping around is kind of a lot to take in and not to mention all the like spanglish but japanese english conversations we've been having today just a lot going on so with that all being said i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night i will see you guys in the next one and i have to wait because i didn't mention this before i have to wait two weeks for the ikea stuff to be delivered to the house it is the the ninth today and um i have to wait till the 11th oh wait no it's the second today i have to wait till the 11th so that's how that's going to be. But they're a little back stocked on the delivery right now. But yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one and see you later.